there are two very important factors that influence the energy of a lone pair, and hence the stability of a base, charge, and resonance. If a particular lone pair is on a negatively charged atom, that implies that there's a relatively large amount of electron density at that location. Electrons repel each other, so negative charge raises the energy of electrons, making them less stable and more reactive. Negative charges make for relatively strong bases. This is why hydroxide is a much stronger base than water. Positive charge, on the other hand, lowers the energy of electrons, making them more stable and less reactive. This is why H3O plus isn't even remotely basic, despite having a lone pair. Negative charge equals high energy. Neutral charge, medium energy. Positive charge, very low energy. Let's apply this concept to acidity. Remember, acidity is a function of conjugate base stability. So whenever we're trying to compare two molecules' acidity, we must first look at their conjugate bases. Let's use this principle to compare the acidity of NH4+, NH3, and NH2-. First, we must draw their conjugate bases. The conjugate base of NH4 plus is NH3. The conjugate base of NH3 is NH2 minus. And the conjugate base of NH2 minus is NH2 minus. Recalling that negative charges raise electron pair energy, we can deduce that NH2 minus has very high energy lone pairs and is an exceptionally strong, unstable base, because it has two negative charges. NH2 minus still has a negative charge, but only one, so it's more stable than NH2 minus. And NH3 doesn't have a charge at all, so its lone pair is relatively stable. Given this ranking of conjugate base stability, we can conclude that NH4 plus is the strongest acid of these three, NH3 is the next strongest acid, and NH2 minus is the least acidic. In fact, it's not acidic in the, in the slightest. The other critical factor that has a huge influence on the energy of a lone pair of electrons, and therefore on base stability, is resonance. Resonance is the delocalization or spreading out of electrons over several atoms and is possible whenever lone pairs are adjacent to pi bonds. To see this at work, let's compare the basicity of these two structures, a hemiacetylate and a carboxylate. Both have lone pairs on oxygen atoms with negative charges, so they're both somewhat basic. But only in the carboxylate is that lone pair delocalized over two atoms by resonance. The hemiacetylate's lone pair is stuck, isolated on that single oxygen atom, because it doesn't have any pi bonds adjacent. Resonance stabilizes the carboxylate's lone pair, making it lower in energy than the hemiacetylate's lone pair, so the carboxylate is less basic than the hemiacetylate. We can use the same rationale to compare the acidity of these four hydrogens. Remember, to compare acidity, we always, 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 always draw the conjugate bases and compare their stability. The conjugate bases of each of these four acids have lone pairs on carbon. The first conjugate base doesn't have any pi bonds nearby, so does not experience any resonance stabilization. As we introduce more and more adjacent pi bonds, 
the lone pairs have more and more places to delocalize, more resonance structures, so are progressively more stable. The more stable the lone pairs are, the weaker the conjugate base is. So this is the strongest acid, and this is the weakest acid.